Hey you guys, I hope you guys are all doing really good. Welcome to episode three in my adventure riding lesson series. So stick around, this one's gonna be interesting. So yeah, episode three already, wow. So I think today what we're gonna go over is something also pretty common in adventure riding and that's hill climbs. It's one of my favorite things to do as well, being from Canada. You know, Canada is nothing but hills. Well, at least BC is where I'm from. So I got pretty good at hills at a young age. So I'm pretty confident on just about any hill. But I think what we're going to focus on today is just, I'd say like intermediate kind of, you know, the kind of trail or the, the trail turns a little cliffy or, you know, it's something that you'd encounter if you're in a group of guys and say everybody's just a little bit better than you are and they all scoot up the trail and you're left at the bottom looking up at the trail going boy I wish I had a little bit more skill so I'm gonna try and give you guys a few tips on what I like to do so yeah let's get started so what I would do in something like this you know if say you want to keep going and there's no way around it you could see you have two roots here so what you your number one thing, you guys, is confidence. If you don't have your confidence, don't even attempt it until you get your confidence in check. And that means going on a little bit easier hill. But this one's really not that hard. It just looks, you know, I know you're looking through the computer going, oh, I'd never go up that in a million years. But believe me, it's all about momentum and confidence. And so, like, what you want to do, you got a really beautiful runway. Is just keep up your momentum. You know, you got to get a lot of momentum to get up and over that. Really what you're gonna do is almost coast over that rock. Cause if you try to let your clutch out and, and accelerate on the rock, it's wet and you're just gonna spin out. So you get tons of momentum and you gotta fully commit to the hill. And like I said in my one of previous videos, you gotta relax and you gotta ride confident and you'll see that there's nothing to it. So I'll take a couple clips and I'll show you what I mean. So yeah, hill climbs. Okay, let's give this one a go here. So, first gear, momentum. See, you just gotta give it a little, uh, what would you call that? Bump the throttle and the clutch just to get up over this cliffy, rocky section. I know it looks way more gnarly than it is, you guys, but honestly, you got such a nice runway, you can just, you know, roll into that nicely and then I should mention you guys when I dump the clutch on these bikes I don't do it like when you're in high school doing a burnout on your vehicle you just kind of dump it smoothly with giving it gas at the same time see it just I guess feathering the clutch there's the word I'm looking for all you're doing is feathering the clutch while giving it a bunch of gas at the same time and it's gonna basically just shoot you up and over the gnarly stuff I should quickly mention you guys, when you're tackling obstacles like this, that it's always advisable to walk things first. If you're really out of your comfort zone and you don't want to attempt it, then definitely don't attempt it. But if you think it's something you can handle and you're going to commit to it, then just give it a quick walk or at the very least ride up to the base of the hard part and have a look up there. Plan your attack and then go down and take a good confident run at it and have lots of momentum and you should be fine okay so let's go through the scenario real quick here we're we're hauling down the trail it's kind of a quad type you know single track double track trail you come over here only to discover everybody's tracks went flying up this thing that you feel like totally uncomfortable with the first thing i would do if i was uncomfortable with it is shut your bike off stop right here and walk up to it in this case we're just going to ride up to the base of it like this we're going to have a look up there and see that it's really nice and level up top and this the entrance here is really pretty mellow so really there's only one gnarly little bit of cliff there or uh, bedrock i guess you would want to call it so all you're going to want to do is get your momentum up the more the better in this case i mean don't go in third gear wide open like your evil knievel but 
just first gear on most adventure bikes like on this 690 is pretty fast actually to be honest so just keep enough momentum that you think you're going to be able to carry yourself over it don't you got to be confident otherwise you're going to go too slow and you definitely won't make it so a little momentum see there's really nothing to it at all just kind of i popped the throttle right i didn't even pull in the clutch there i just gave it a little extra pop in the throttle at the bottom and it just hops right over that so i mean don't give it enough that you're going to go over backwards wheeling but just give it that extra bit that really my wheels don't even touch that they just pop right over it so i hope that helps you guys i just got a little cocky on it and just about didn't make it so i'm going to explain one other quick thing here and it's a simple way to recover which doesn't work for everybody but okay we're going much too slow clutch is half in right now just letting it out enough so that I'm not spinning out okay there so you see that that's how you can recover a lot of people I know what they do they get halfway up they spin out because they're giving it too much throttle and then they panic and then there goes their bike down the hill don't panic, just pull in the clutch, but still give it lots of gas, enough to keep the rear wheel turning. Not spinning out. Don't ever spin out or you're going nowhere. And you can potentially recover that way. So yeah, I hope that helps you guys. I should quickly mention you guys, when you drive into these corners, like that corner there, you can see almost resembles a berm, like on a motocross track. If you drive into those with a little speed, you'll often get quite a bit more traction because the weight of the bike, you know, the suspension's compressing. And that'll give you a little more drive. You know, motocross guys use that out of the corners to get their drive. They drive in hard and dive into the berm and then the bike bites really hard. We're also gonna get into these more gnarly hills like this one here, you guys, but be patient. I can only make so many videos, but I will like to try and cover all the gnarly stuff. Nice. So yeah, right on you guys. I appreciate everybody watching. I hope that's helping some of you guys. You know, I'm really trying to drill at home. Clutch and throttle and your balance are kind of the keys to really any kind of motorcycle, whether it's a little mini bike or a big adventure bike. Those three things kind of go hand in hand. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you're new to my YouTube channel, definitely hit the red button down there and give me a good old thumbs up. And let me know, and in the drop down arrow below in the description, that's got my links to the social media. If you guys are curious what I do during the week and that, I post a lot of cool stuff on some of the other social media out there. And my Patreon's there as well. If you guys feel like chipping in, helping me improve my YouTube channel, that's always appreciated. So yeah, right on, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.